You're watching Channel One weekend this Sunday night. A five-story building worth millions of shillings has been brought down by the Nakuru County government after it was found to be structurally unsound by the National Construction Authority, NCA, two weeks ago. Meanwhile, a family in East Lee, Nairobi County is seeking justice after their kin died mysteriously after an, an electric pole fell on her. Timothy Kipnosu with details in our county news roundup. Sunday spell doom for one private developer in Nakuru after the county government demolishes five-story building worth millions of shillings. According to the county executive committee member for lands and housing, Joseph Kiuna, the developer has been playing cat and mouse games with the authorities for two years. The message here is that uh, we would like investors to come to Nakuru County but follow the regulations and make sure that buildings and structures have integrity. We are also going to pursue the professionals who are involved in the supervision of this building, uh, engineers, architects, and supervisors, uh, so that we hold them to account through their professional bodies. Some of the pillars on the ground floor supporting five other floors had buckled up, with the contractor putting in place steel reinforcement covered in a concrete slab which the government engineers disapproved. Elsewhere, residents in Magarini sub-county Kilifi County were facing problems accessing crocodile-infested Galana River and losing many lives due to flooding have a reason to smile. After the construction of the 115 million shilling Shakahola Howe Wanja Bridge was completed, residents say they will also be able to access services such as health and even shops without having to wade through the water oblivious of the danger posed by the crocodiles. Tunasikia furaha sana kwa sababu nafikiri hivyo visa vingi va labda mtu amesumbwa na maji au ameshikwa na mamba havitatokezea tena. Meanwhile a family in Isli Nairobi County is seeking justice after their kin died mysteriously after an electric pole fell on her. According to the family their kin died while undergoing treatment at Madina Hostel in Isli after she sustained neck and spinal cord injuries. Mi nilisikia watu wa pikipiki wakipiga duru. Hao vijana wa pikipiki hata hao ndio walikuja wakakibia wakaanza kusaidia huyo mama. Sasa hiyo alikuwa amelaliwa na hiyo kikingi. This book is just like this cake. In the meantime the government has been called upon to consider putting more punitive measures to those individuals involved in cases related to child abuse. Speaking during the launch of a book a new dawn for children in Nairobi. Tanariva Women Representative Rehem Mahassan revealed that cases of rape and sexual abuse has become rampant in the country, saying it is time the government cracks the whip and ensure the perpetrators face the music. I know our children will learn a lot from this, and I believe whatever is in here is going to assist our children and our people. What motivated me to write the book is because of children like you who actually um, approached me and shared with me their stories and they felt like there is a need for us to empower children. Because if children can actually raise their voices, then I believe they are the generation that can transform our societies. Finally, the rising cases of early pregnancies in Teso South constituency is now worrying authorities. Statistics from the Children's Department of the county indicates that in the last three months alone, 26 underage pregnancies were reported in the constituency. Visa sote, kwa wala wamepata mimba, na wala wamedurumiwa, simeripotua ni stina tano. Timothy Kipnusu, for Channel 1 News.